You want to make a Curse Forge mod pack server, we're going to be showing you how to do that with three different mod packs here, because each one has its own kind of unique style for making a Minecraft server with them. However, because every mod pack is kind of unique in its own way, your mod pack that you want a server for may not be exactly like this video, but hopefully you'll be able to get most of the way there and kind of figure out the rest of the way for making your server. Now, I do want to mention that our company, Simple Game Hosting, is the easiest way to make a Minecraft server with a Curse Forge mod pack. You can actually click on mod packs here in the menu bar, and by the you can check this out at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple and you can see all the mod packs that we support you can filter by the amount of ram we recommend for each mod pack and you can even search for mod packs up here for example if you wanted dawncraft we can see dawncraft and we searched Dawn, so the Ancient Dawn has pulled up here as well. Super easy to get these set up. Once you purchase your server, you will simply be taken here, where you want to select the server you want to add the mod pack to, stop it, and then click on Mod Packs up here at the top. Same thing, search for the mod pack you want. Let's say we wanted Dawncraft. We would search for it here, select the version that we wanted, click Install, and click Yes. It's that easy to add the mod pack to the server. All the stuff we're going to have to do with here, downloading files, all of that stuff, you don't have to do that at Simple Game Host. You literally just click that button. Once it's done, you'll see the check here that Dawncraft is installed. We can go to console, start the server, copy the IP address by clicking up here, and then you would simply launch Dawncraft via CurseForge, and you are good to go. You can join it just like any other Minecraft server. And again, you can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now, with that being said, if you want to start a Minecraft server on your own computer, you don't want to use Simple Game Hosting. Well, we can go ahead and do that. And like I said, every mod pack is going to be different. So we're going to be going through three different CurseForge mod packs here. All the mods 10, Prominence 2, and RL Craft. Now, one thing I will say is that no matter what, when you're starting a server on your own computer, you will need to port forward. You don't have to do that at Simple Game Hosting. Like I said, you just install the mod pack on the server like we just did and then join it using that mod pack on CurseForge. But if you're going to be hosting a server on your own computer, you are going to need to port forward. And there is an in-depth guide on port forwarding linked in the description down below. This is going to work for your modded servers. If you want your friends to join, you have to do the port forward. So I wanted to mention that on the front end. And I also wanted to mention, you're going to need to get Java and the jar fix. Now, generally, you're going to need the most recent version of Java, assuming it's a modern mod pack. However, some mod packs, for example, RL Craft, need an older version of Java, Java 8. And to find that, you would need to Google Java 8 download and download that version. But generally, the most recent version of Java will work. With that being said, let's go ahead and grab the server pack. This is where all of the server files are stored when you're making a modded Minecraft server on CurseForge. Let's go ahead and click on all the mods 10 here, and then we can click on this download download server pack. So we've just downloaded the mod pack here on CurseForge. Click on it and then click this download server pack. If you don't have a download server pack, it means one's not available. And that means it's going to be a lot more difficult to make a server for that mod pack. And honestly, a lot of times I would try to find another mod pack because you have to kind of manually set everything up and it's super, super difficult. Let's go ahead and click the download server there and open files, download the server files, click save and it downloads those. And we can go ahead and once they're downloaded, move the server files to the desktop. So there we are, they are finished. We can again move those to the desktop and we want to extract this zip file. So right click on it, click on extract all and then click extract. And it will go ahead and give us a brand new file that will have no zip on it, right? So we wanted to extract this, it'll be an extracted file that will then be able to open and use to basically run our server. So we can, it automatically opens here, we can drag this over here open this file, not the one with the zip. The one with the zip can be deleted now. We want the one that's just a folder. And this is all the stuff we need to get our modded, all the mods 10 curse word server running. What's cool about all the mods 10 is it's kind of got everything set up for us to where all we need to do is double click on this server.bat file. Now, the first time you do this, assuming you have Java, if you don't have Java, you might get an error that the file doesn't exist and it's not working, things like that. The first place you want to look if that happens is making sure you get the right version of Java, whether that's the most recent version that's needed for Minecraft that we have on our website or whether that's Java 8 for 1.12 to, I believe, 1.16 mod packs. Now, with that being said, we can see this is starting. We're good to go. It is eventually going to fail though. And that's because we need to agree to the Minecraft EOLA. However, it's got to download the mods and kind of get everything set up first. So we'll go ahead and skip until it's at that point. So here we are, failed to load EOLA.txt. By answering true to this prompt, you're integrated to agree your agreement to the Minecraft's EOLA. So with all the mods 10, it doesn't crash or anything like that. You don't have to go over here and like open it this way and agree to it. You can actually type in true, just T-R-U-E and hit enter. And it says you'll accept it and moves forward. And if we open the EULA.txt file, it went ahead and changed it. Sometimes it'll say that you need to agree to the EULA and you'll have to go into the server files, open this, 
say EULA equals true, save the file, and then restart the server with that run or that start server.bat. Now again, every server is different. At this point, all the mods 10, your server is actually going to start. You are good to go and you can join it. For your friends to join, you will need to port forward, but for you to test join any of the servers we start in this video, you will use the IP address localhost. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up all the mods 10 in CurseForge, and when we do that, we will be able to play and join using that localhost IP. So here we are, we can see the server is online and we can join it again using that localhost IP. Your friends will join after you port forward with the public IP, but once we're in game, we'll just be able to confirm everything is working. There may be some lag here That's because I'm recording, running a super intensive server. All the mods 10 is very resource intensive and running the mod pack itself. So if you see any lag, that would be why. But go ahead and let this load in just to show you that this is working. We can see it kind of loading everything up here on the left-hand side as well. We can actually probably see, yep, player data, daily videos with UUID is loading in there. So that's proof that things are loading in. Um, it's possible that your server or computer crash when you're doing this because it is, like I said, very resource intensive. Now this right here, going non-responding is actually not something that I would worry about. Usually it'll work itself out. But... If this happens, it might just be that your computer is not good enough to run a server and run the mod pack at the same time. And in that case, you'll need to use a third party host like Simple Game Hosting to host the server because you can play the mod pack, you just can't run the server and the mod pack together. Um, you might be getting like messages, can't keep up, things like that. That can be an indication that you're having some CPU issues there or some lag issues there. So let, I'm gonna let this sort itself out. Usually after a few minutes, this white screen of not responding will start responding, figure itself out, we'll join on in and be good to go. But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. You might have to kind of work through some of these mod pack issues where you're just kind of sitting here waiting because, well, things are taking a while. You can see on Curse Wars, things are moving, so we just got to kind of let it work itself out. So there we go. It has worked itself out. We can see if we go to the server console here that we are online. Daily videos has made the advancement, all of that stuff. Uh, is there a way, can we do, is players a thing that are online? No, it doesn't seem like it. But we can see, or is it list? Let's check. Can we list the PO? Yep, there we go. So list, there are one maximum daily videos. That would be me on this server. We are good to go. Your friends, like I said, can join using the public IP after you port forward. But uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to our LCRAP because that's going to be a different set up entirely when it comes to starting your server. So let's go ahead and set that one up. So RL Craft is what we're going to look at next. It's completely different than all the mods 10 or Prominence 2, and that's because it's, well, honestly, just kind of an old pack. It's updated. It's dated pretty consistently, but it's for 1.12.2, which means we're going to have to do things a bit differently. So to do that, what we want to do is go ahead and find the server files. We're going to do that the exact same way we did it with all the mods 10. Download it in the CurseForge app, click on RL Craft, and then click on Download Server Pack here. Then the server pack will download. There's something else we need to note here, though. The Forge version. So Forge 14.23.5.2860. You want to remember that because we're going to need it later. We're also going to need that this is a 1.12.2 game version. So let's go to Forge. So you can Google Minecraft Forge download, and then it'll take you here. Most likely, you'll be on the most recent version of Forge. We want to go to the left-hand side and click on 1.12 and then 1.12.2. Then we want to come back over here and see that this is 52860. That's going to be the most recent version here under download latest, 52860. We can come into this, click on installer. That'll take you off to add focus where you don't want to click anything. Just wait about 10 seconds. Then a red skip button will appear in the top right. Whenever that appears, go ahead and click on it. And the version of Forge we want will start downloading here and we can save it. Now with that Forge version downloaded and our server files downloaded, we can go here and go to our downloads where we have this server pack and forge. We want to go ahead and move these to the desktop. First thing we want to do is actually right click on RL Craft, click extract all and click extract. We then want to go ahead and find that forge file which again is on our desktop here and once this is extracted we're going to open up forge and install the forge server into our extracted folder. That sounds kind of complicated, but I promise it's, it's very, very simple here. So let's go ahead and let this finish extracting. That then spits out this new folder here. We can delete the zip folder. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Forge 1.12.2 we downloaded. So right click on that, open with, 
Java. Now you may need Java 8 for this, so go ahead and download Java 8 because this is for 1.12.2. It might require an older version of Java. Click on Install Server. A red box will appear. Go ahead and click the three dots in that. Go to your desktop and find that server pack, RL Craft Server Pack. Click Open. You'll still have a red box here. That's okay. Go ahead and click OK, and it's now going to download the Forge server files we need into that folder. We can delete the Forge from our desktop because everything is now in this folder. You can see we have the Minecraft server and Forge here as well. Now, in order to start this server, we're going to need to make a run.bat file. But first, find this Forge file here, right click on it, and click rename, and then just rename it to simply forge.jar. Your version, all that, if you're doing another mod pack that's not our RL craft, may be different. So go ahead and rename that. And then what we'll want to do is go to the description of this video and we will find a code. It's basically four gigabyte server, six gigabyte server. That's the amount of RAM your server is going to have. I would honestly recommend at least six gigabytes for modded servers these days. But we can go ahead and right click, create a new text document, and then open that new text document. And then paste from the description that code that I was talking about. So that's going to be that six gigabyte code here. And then if you wanted to add more RAM, by the way, you could change this to eight gigabytes. So eight and eight here, that would be eight gigs of RAM dedicated. But with that being said, we can now go ahead and click File, Save As, and we can save this as a run.bat file. And then the save type is All Files. Click Save, and it will go ahead and save that. And now we should have a run Windows batch file here. Now finally, when we double click on this, your server is going to start, unless you don't have Java 8, which I don't. And this is what you're going to see if you don't have Java 8 installed for a 1.16 or older Minecraft server. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. With Java 8 installed, we can double click on that run.bat, and now it's going to fire right up, as you can see. However, this will fail because we need to agree to the Minecraft ULA. As you can see, press any key to continue. You need to agree to the ULA in order to run the server. We have this ULA.txt file. Open that up, change EULA equals false to EULA equals true, TRUE, file, save, and then we can double click that run.bat file, and now our RL Craft server will launch. All you gotta do now is play Minecraft using RL Craft in Curse Forge and join using local host for the IP. Now, that's how you'll join. Your friends will join using your public IP after you port forwarded. So go make sure you port forward. Then once you port forwarded, you are good to go. Your friends will be able to join using that public IP as long as they're playing with RL Craft like we're doing here. So we can see the server is started here. RL Craft is open. Like I said, you can join this server using the IP local host. Hit enter and it will join us on in on the left hand side here. You'll see us uh, join in. Daily videos logged in. Daily videos join the game. Now it's going to take a minute for you to actually get in game because it's got to do the initial load. And then here we are in RL Craft, dinosaurs and all. It's actually kind of cool spawning right next to dinosaurs. Now there may be some lag or something like that coming through on your end because I'm recording and running a mod pack server. Very resource intensive to do all that. But this is live. We are good to go. Now, last but not least, let's go ahead and take a look at Prominence 2. That's the last mod pack we're going to show you how to make with a Curse Forge server to ensure that things are working correctly and, and that you've kind of went through all the different options that you may have when it comes to making a Curse Forge server. Now, what makes starting a Prominence 2 server a bit different than the other ones we've done in this video is it's actually a Fabric server on the Fabric mod loader. However, the process of getting the server file is the same. Download the mod pack on Curse Forge, click on it, and then click the Download Server Pack button here, and the download will begin. Now we can see it downloading in the Downloads folder. Once it's complete, we can move the file we downloaded to our desktop. We then want to go ahead and right-click on it, click on Extract, and then click on Extract All. And then once we've extracted this file here, we will get a brand new folder that will have all of the server files we need for our server in it. That's what's cool about Prominence 2. It packages kind of everything in here for us. Most Fabric servers are going to do that. So we can see this is now complete. We can delete the zip file. We don't need that anymore because everything is in here. Then we can go ahead and double click the start.bat file. It's the Windows batch file here. And that's going to go ahead and get the server started. You may get a warning like this, but it is okay to continue as long as it's the official server pack for the server. Click more info and click run anyway. Then this will open up and start installing. As you can see, we need to agree here to install Java, which is going to be the Java version that is needed for this. It's a open source version of Java, basically. So we can go ahead and type, I agree here. We'll go ahead, download that, do what it needs to do to get that set up. Unfortunately, this is a bit different than what uh, a lot of the other servers are set up. That's why I wanted to do it. And that's why it's so many different options 
when you're making these Minecraft servers. So as you can see, Fabric is being installed, getting everything. We need to agree to the Minecraft DULA, which we can do by typing I agree here. You could also have came in here and opened up the EULA.txt file and typed EULA equals true right like this, saved it, and then you would have had to restart the server with that server.bat file. But at this point, it's installing. It is good to go. The server is starting officially. Pretty simple to get it set up, right? Now we can join it using the IP address localhost, but only you can join using that IP. You need to port forward for your friends to be able to join. So we can go ahead and go to Prominence 2, click play here, and play the mod pack. You have to play the mod pack with CurseForge in order to join it. You have to do that. Your friends have to do that. And then once we're in game, you can join using that local host IP. Your friends will join using your public IP after you port forwarded. But I'm going to prove to you that this server is live and that we can join it. So I'm going to open the mod pack. So here we are. Prominence is here and the server is started. How can you tell? Well, we've kind of just stopped loading stuff. Eventually it'll slow down. Uh, you can look for it to say done somewhere in here, but it can be kind of hard to find that with modded servers. So usually when stuff stops moving, the server is started. We can go over here to multiplayer, click proceed, direct connection, and we're going to use the server address local host. Like I said, your friends will join using your public IP once you port forwarded. But now we'll join on in. The first time you join any modded server, it can sometimes take a minute. So don't freak out if it does. However, we can see that we have joined over here. Daily videos is joined and uh, yeah, things are, things are good to go. We are now in game and playing Prominence 2 on a server that we have started ourselves on our own computer. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy your new Minecraft servers with CurseForge. Went through kind of all the different scenarios, Forge Modern, Forge Classic, and Fabric to make sure that you can get your server up and running no matter what. But the easiest way to start a Minecraft server is always going to be simple game hosting. First link down below the breakdown to xyz slash simple where there are hundreds of mod packs with one click installation allowing you to easily start your server without having to worry about downloads or port forwarding or any of that. It's all made simple here and there's even expert live chat support in the bottom right of the site to help you out should you run into any issues. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I am out. Peace.